We got a postcard today from a woman from Maine <laughs> who's on the trip of a lifetime. Actually, it was more like a really long Instagram video. It was a week ago that Caribou native Jessica Meir arrived at the International Space Station. And New Center Maine's Bill Green will be the first to admit he kind of geeked out when he interviewed her today. <laughs> I, um, and it's not the first time you've spoken to her, but first, first time, time space. from space yeah. it makes it special. Now, I want to say for the record that she's doing important science, but it's impossible not to ask her those what's it like questions beginning with that launch. Jessica Muir, it was so exciting to watch you blast off the other day. I, have you seen your launch? It was spectacular and beautiful. Where well, they had a shot of you inside the capsules. You're going like 17,000 miles an hour, and you seemed very calm. Surprisingly, I was pretty calm, I think because of the training that we receive on the ground. So it's funny, actually, during the launch, sometimes I would have to remind myself that this was the real thing and that it wasn't actually the simulator. So you're so much to so many people all over over the world, but here in Maine especially, especially a STEM person, how long did it take you to get started with your science in space? You know how, much, how important science is to me, and I'm pretty excited to say that I had science on my schedule up here only 36 hours after arriving. So since then, I had three different sessions looking at some crystals, how proteins can grow more pure and bigger here without gravity, and that can help lead to the development of inhibitors for certain diseases. So I've done three sessions of that, and yesterday I spent some time setting up a veggie experiment. We'll actually be growing Mizuna lettuce up here and harvesting it in about two months, so I really look forward to eating that. Have you been able to say sleep and eat well and get your work done because you're rested? Of course, we had that time shift to deal with, and it took me a little while to fall asleep, but that was good because we had some stuff to do to get organized. We always have a general safety briefing when new crew members arrive, just in case anything happened right away, so we needed to knock those things out before going to bed. But as most people who know me well in Maine know, I am a very good sleeper, so sleep actually has come quite naturally to me here. I've been sleeping full nights, and that's a good thing because sleep's very important to me. I've been watching for you in the sky. Now, right now, we seem to get, uh, for people at home, you can see the space station at dawn and dusk some days. Are you getting a good look at Maine? I did have an incredible pass the other day. I was in the cupola with Nick, and he was giving me a little bit of a tour, and we had this amazing pass, which started over Mexico. We saw Houston and New Orleans really well, and we went right up the East Coast. We could see down in New York City and even see Central Park, easily see the outline of Cape Cod and Boston, and then I need to get a little bit better at picking out my hometown. I could definitely see Maine, but I need to figure out exactly where Caribou is on the map. I'll be sure to, ma to wave to Maine when you guys are looking up. How do you balance the professionalism with the distractions? That's a great question, and I think I'm still trying to figure that out. Sometimes it's it's difficult to contain the excitement, especially in these early moments and when it's something that, you know, I've been thinking about my entire life. We just try to balance it, but of course it's important for us to be human and to have fun as well, and we do that. That comes easily to us, especially since we're all such close friends up here. And is there anything you want to say to the folks back home in Maine? Well, I wanted to show you what I brought along. I'm not sure if you can get a good view of this or not. Try to bring it a little bit closer to the camera. But I've, but I've got a main flag here and uh, another main patch for you guys. All right. That's, that's good to know that we're represented up there. And please give my best to everybody. I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to uh, keep sending pictures down, and hopefully I'll be able to talk to you all again soon. Now, Jessica says the next big project on the space station is a series of five spacewalks to replace the station's power storage batteries. And if you want to see what it took to get that interview with Jessica Muir on the air, go to the News Center page YouTube channel. It's a funny thing for a behind-the-scenes uh, look.